Hello everyone, it's the Knife Guy here, and oh man, I really gotta stop buying knives. I said, no manly man ever. Here we have a cool little purchase I just made. Um, the C3, uh, yeah. Yeah, what the label says there. C33L. T. I'm totally wrong today. C33T. Leatherman Crater. And I have a few other Leatherman, Leathermans and, uh, a single folder is what I kind of wanted from Leatherman. And I was able to find that today. Went to good old Cabela's and got myself another sale item. Now people, I rarely buy knives that aren't on sale. They have to be on sale to catch my eye and usually, <clears throat> like the Wave and a few other of my other knives, I was able to get them on sale. But let's unbox this thing and see what we got. So again, the Leatherman C33T Crater. And excuse me, I got a little bit of a cold going on. Or fluish. But uh, here we go. You got kind of a nice, like, almost a G10 kind of scaling to it. Very nice. Let me open her up. It's got a thumb stud. There's the blade itself. Very nice. I, I opted out for the serrated version because, uh, I mean, like most of my uh, other videos there, I am not a big fan of serrations, so I went for the, the fine edge. I like being able to sharpen my whole knife the same way. So that's why I went with the uh, C33T. But it does have thumb stub. On the other side, it doesn't know, so for a lefty, it's going to be a little bit harder. I'm not too sure if you're able to. It's, it's got to be screwed in there somehow. So you might be able to take that out. But again, Leatherman has a pretty good warranty. So if you were to do that and put it on the opposite side and send it in for chance, um, you might not get the, uh, the same warranty you get right out of the box, if any. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But um, it comes with a nice pocket clip. And I like pocket clips. So you can wake up in the morning and grab a pocket knife and it's got a pocket clip on it. You just throw it right in the jeans and don't have to worry about it. And on the back side here, which I thought was really cool. Like this, this knife isn't very big. Open the blades about six inches. Uh, the blade length itself is 2.6 inches. Nice and close here. Yeah, the blade is gonna be about 3.8 inches. The weight on this is going to be 90.4 grams, so about 3.1 ounces. Getting to the back of it here, we have a really cool kind of a carabiner there. And this also serves as a bottle opener, a cap and opener, so you can just pop open your nice cool beverages. And to close this, you actually push in and back. A lot of people, I guess, not too sure how to close it because it's not a liner lock or anything like that. So you push in and slap her down there. When, and then this is, like I said, the uh, C33T. You come over to the other side, and the C33T, unlike the C33L, I believe, has yourself a, a Phillips screwdriver. And that kind of locks in place. It's not a lighter lock or anything like that either but it is firm really firm and I like that because if you're doing some tough chores or anything like that you know screwing something in you don't really have to worry too much about it it popping out you have to put a lot of pressure on it to put it back in and popping it out doesn't take too much but you got the Phillips out on the other side and it's kind of sharp too I would recommend it as well but with this um, flathead here you could do some prying with it as well but it does like I said it has kind of like the G10 kind of um, scaling to it so that it doesn't have uh, um, steel innards there so I wouldn't recommend doing too much prying on it but otherwise pretty nice very stiff again on the other side you have to put some pressure in to pop her down but the blade itself is a 420 HC, which is a decent steel. 
it's not bad. It's it's above mid grade, that's for sure. And it will hold its edge, not bad. Uh, sharpening up it is usually a breeze. So there you are. It has a nice little Leatherman on the pocket clip as well. And along with the Leatherman's uh, symbol there, etched into kind of the G-Tanish. It's, it's, it's rough on the top and then very smooth on the bottom here. So gripping it, <coughs> it fits not bad in hand. And gripping it, because you have kind of a choil here, which goes to the other side, you're not going to lose the knife. It doesn't have any jimping or anything, but you can choke up on a knife quite nicely. And it has a liner lock here. So, and it, if, you, if you look closely, it doesn't stop right here. It goes all the way to the other side there. So it's keeping this knife pretty steady. And with the blade itself, there's like barely, actually no blade play up and down or side to side. So in my books, yeah, it's worth a buy. I was able to pick it up at uh, Cabela's there. It was $40, regular 60. So you're able to buy it on a sale like that. I would definitely recommend picking this thing up for small chores, opening up boxes, uh, run around. If you got a shoelace that's bugging you or something, you get a bad example, but <laughs> cut that off. But any little work, this, this blade is definitely, uh, definitely nice and I recommend it. And one thing cool uh, I'll mention is this is actually the, I can't remember the exact name for it, but um, it's the launch version. So if you look here, it has this kind of, it's almost like a button in the back here. And you put your finger on the tip of it and thrust out. And I haven't had that in a folding blade yet because my collection is still kind of new. And the first time I did that, man, that feels good. That is super awesome. So it's just that little me um, metal piece there, if you can see it right there. And this has, I believe, like bronze bushings in it, if you can see. So it's, even with the thumb stud, it's fairly smooth, not bad. But then you use that little launcher there and just a <laughs> flick of the finger there and it shoots the blade out. Really cool especially if you need it in a hurry. And actually, sorry for the poor video, and uh, so my camera doesn't like the computer screen very much, but just checking into it, I was able to get mine at Cabela's. I'm pretty sure they still have some, but they also have a different version of this knife called the C33B. And I think what this stands for, instead of having that, that folding um, uh, Phillips and flathead, you get a bit driver with it, and that's on the Leatherman website. Not sponsored whatsoever, but, but you know, show you guys different options and, and to uh, give you kind of reliable content. There you are, C3D3B on the Leatherman website. Awesome, guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. I know I promised every Thursday, and I'm a little late on that, but uh, I got kind of down with a little bit of a flu and um, slash cold, so it was uh, kind of a resting day yesterday, but. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you like this video and found it handy, like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Have a great day, guys.